think maybe these days because of COVID-19 we're kind of isolated from one another so I think stepping up communications to video is probably what people would appreciate. So I recently got a reply, it was a very interesting email. So here's the email, it reads, thank you for sending out the order, I ordered the optical tips for my son actually. He was born with double crease but because of sleep he wasn't sleeping enough rubbing eyes a lot due to allergies his lids became weak natural thing to do but dangerous no rub right in the center pretty firmly fingertips palms knuckles in a rotary crushing motion is probably the worst i put on the double eyelid tape for him that i bought from daiso japanese store but it just made it worse after I removed it. The skin was loose on his eyes and no sign of the crease coming back. Yeah, that could happen. When your eyelids do get worse from using regular eyelid tape, like the ones that was mentioned in this email, it's because of the actual design and shape of the eyelid tape. Those are designed to be hidden within the fold. So they have to be um, very small in shape and you have to almost not be able to feel it as much as possible because you have to wear it all day in public. So the shape is designed for that. Because of those goals, those tapes do not stimulate the skin, does not exert any mechanical stress loads. What does happen is during the removal process of those tapes, when you peel those tapes off, because the entire, because the shape of those double eyelid tapes are so thin, they do not cover the entire platform of the eyelid skin. So as it is removed, when you pull it out, it has a peak where only a slight portion of the skin is being tugged while everything else is expanding so that a real significant recoiling effect happens as the tape is removed and the skin bounces back to its original position. When that happens, it could inadvertently stimulate nearby skin tension lines, which then will become competing wrinkles against your ideal crease. And that is what happens when you use those tapes and you end up getting bad results. With OptiFold, and the invention that she's using now, her son is using now, it doesn't happen because our tapes, the shape is designed so that during the removal process, there isn't a peak of skin that gets pulled out. It's more like a flapping motion because our tapes extend all the way to the eyelid margin and the eyelid margin is not tethered down. So as you remove our Optifold tapes, a flapping motion happens with the skin, not a peak that recoils back. Back to the email. I love your explanation about this on your website. It makes a lot of sense. So when I discovered your website, I read all the FAQs, watched the videos, and decided to give it a try. But to answer your question, yes, his crease is back. It's staying for the whole day. But when we don't put it on for one night, the right side crease becomes weak. Does the Optifold tape deepen the crease line over time so that the double crease will be permanent? Also, does it work if he just used the Optifold tapes and not do the exercises? When the tapes have their effect on the skin, it, the ultimate effect is yes, the crease will appear to be deepened, like it will be more well-defined. But to conceptualize that the tapes are deepening the crease, so the more you apply pressure on that area, that's a little bit of a, a different kind of idea. See, what happens when the crease... The skin has a 30-day regeneration period. So it takes 30 days for you to get your crease to be a little bit more stable the next month as the skin regenerates. Your skin can only progress a certain amount per day. 
it's not possible to accelerate past this result, especially if you want to keep this to be natural. So you have to adhere to the skin's natural 30-day regeneration cycle period. So the goal is to keep the skin habitually folding in the same place that's natural for the skin to wrinkle out that area, but to keep that part folded for as much time as possible per day. That's how you can maximize what you can progress that's limited for each day. But you do those for 30 days in a row, you're gonna see results. The next question also, does it work if you just use the optical tape and not the eyelid exercises? It, if your skin, some people's skin's eyelid profile is already very susceptible to creasing, which means that you can see, um, say you can rub your eyes and the double eyelid will stay there for a few hours, right? By just rubbing your eyes. Those cases, yeah, you don't need to do the eyelid exercises. But if you're a case where, you know, I can rub my eyes, but my double eyelid will only stay if I flex my eyelids. If you're like that kind of case or other cases, which is even at a more difficult stage, early stage, if you're those cases, you have to do the eyelid exercises because your skin will be naturally puffy every morning. And as the skin becomes puffy, it acts like Botox. What Botox does is it makes the skin like appear more puffy so that it pops out the wrinkle. So if your skin is puffy in the morning and you're developing double eyelids, it's like a wrinkle and the puffiness of the skin will pop it out. You're gonna need a little bit more assistance until the skin's swelling goes down, which is usually by midday. So you would have to help the skin by doing eyelid exercises, like the most basic one and the most important one <laughs> is looking up. Just keep on looking up, try doing that at least all the way to the afternoon. Then at least your, her son's double eyelid crease can last all day to accumulate all those crease time hours necessary to optimize on the, the maximum amount, but limited amount you can progress per day. When you do this for 30 days in a row, especially when you do it at the eight week mark, you can really see huge progress before using Optifold compared to while using Optifold. It's emails like these that really excite me and I'm just glad to, to record on video because I think stuff like this other people can really relate with and I hope you guys can get something out of it. Okay. Till next time, if you like what I said, hit the like button. If you want to hear more about this kind of topic, hit the subscribe button. I'll be uploading so much more new stuff on this channel. You're gonna love hearing what I got to say about uneven islands and how to fix it. And until then, get the look that you want and do whatever the heck you want in life as long as you're happy.